Dear viewers of the Tom Photo channel, I've made videos on the legendary and beautiful Fujifilm X10, the links are below. Then I started to receive requests to cover specific topics on Fuji X10. For example, people wanted to see and hear more about manual focusing and macro photography. Thank you, these are great ideas. Manual focusing and macro photography are related topics and today I'm covering them together. The Fuji X10 offers manual focusing next to the single and continuous autofocusing. There's a small lever right next to the lens that you need to turn to the manual first. Then you're probably looking for a focusing ring on the lens. I know I did when I first got this camera, but it doesn't exist. Instead, the focusing is done by turning the SOP command dial. Look at the screen and turn that dial until your image gets sharp. You'll quickly discover that it's a lot of work and takes a lot of turning. Luckily, there is a better solution. First, press the exposure slash focus lock button, and this will bring your lens to focus. Now go back to the sub command dial and correct it manually to make it more accurate. So in a surprising fashion, the manual focusing works more like automatic focusing. You add a manual final touch to automatic focusing, so to say. The good thing is that it works well. Of course, there are limitations. The users of newer cameras may be accustomed to more modern functions that this camera does not have. You don't have focus peaking or split screen focusing, so you will have to trust your eyes about the quality of focus and this may mean that you need to take more photos. Any automatic focusing on this camera uses central part of the view and this cannot be changed. This means that your initial focusing may not be accurate enough when you need to recompose by turning the camera slightly after initial focusing. This is where manual corrections may become essential. I like manual focusing and I use it when doing macro photography from tripod. Not when I do handheld macro because slight camera movements in my hand are greater than the small manual focus corrections. I pretty much use manual focusing only with macro photography, so let's transition into macro photography now. This is a strength of Fuji X10. In fact, I love this camera for macro work. Inside the sub command dial, there's a flower icon. Press that and you'll get into the macro menu. Use the lens in normal mode, as a macro lens or as a super macro lens. Which one of these modes is right for you will need to be determined by trial and error. One interesting fact is that the zoom and macro do not go together on this camera. You need wide angle for shooting macro. The normal macro mode lets you get to about 10 centimeters from the subject, but the super macro allows as close as only one centimeter from the subject. This is practically touching it. Macro and wide angle means that you can use very wide aperture for macro. With my Tamron 90mm macro lens, for example, if I want more than a thin slice of a buck to be in focus, I need an f-stop of 8 or so. The Fuji X10, on the other hand, is really fine at f-stop too. At times, I'd even like to see more bokeh. I very often shoot my macros at f equals 2, and I'm happy with the results. I love the macro photos out of Fuji X10. I like the combination of wide angle, small f-stop, and extreme closeness. With this combination and this lens, I can take completely different looking macros than I get with my dedicated Tamron macro lens. I'd even go on to say that macro is one of the strengths of this camera, alongside the build quality, user experience, styling, and many more aspects I've talked about in my previous X10 videos, linked for you down in the text box. If you don't already have a good reason to consider Fuji X10 as your camera, then macro capabilities will help you to tip the balance, I think. I'll admit it though, it would be even better if you could use zoom together with super macro. Otherwise, it is great for flowers and patterns, but not so much for box, for example. So that's a limitation too. Manual focusing is useful and implemented in a unique fashion. It does not have all the modern bells and whistles, but it'll get the job done for you. Thanks so much for watching and maybe subscribing to my channel or leaving a like if you feel like doing it. Have a great day. Goodbye.